The hut in the woods is meant for education entertainment purposes only. No wildlife were harmed during the taping of this film. Please do not attempt to repeat any of the action scenes without proper training experience. Or else, I'ma fuck you up. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Slice. We over here at the wet forest in Costa Rica. The Selva. Hood in the woods, baby. We gonna find a lot of shit out here. So why don't you come join me on my adventure in the hood in the woods. Let me tell you a little something about, about tropical rainforest while we hiking on these trails. It's still hot, even though we in the shade. It's still hot, alright? I'm still sweating my fing ass off. You still lose water, even though this is a wet tropical forest. But, as you can see, this is wild. The Disneyland Jungle Cruise ride ain't got on this, son. So I started hopping through the jungle with my camelback, my snake stick, and my snake chaps, trying to be prepared for all the crazy shit I was about to see. The selva is filled with dense vegetation, everything from tall ass trees with long ass vines to crazy ass fungus and flowers that don't even look like flowers. The animals there have me tripping the f out too. The selva is known to have hundreds of species of birds, reptiles, mammals, and amphibians, and thousands of species of bugs, some of which might even put you in the motherfucking hospital. Look what we got here. This is the bullet ant. That is the reason why they call these motherfuckers bullet ants. Because apparently when you get stung, it's like you're being shot. Another name for the bullet ant is the 24 hour ant. Because the pain is known to last the whole day. that. It's the highest pain of any sting in the world. Again, in the world. This little motherfucking creature right here will I'll be messing with this motherfucker. Continuing my hike, I was lucky to get a chance to grab one of the craziest lizards I ever seen. Ooh, look what we got here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let me explain to you all something a little bit first, alright? So we over here, we we hiking this trail going down to the river and shit, right? And a lot of things like to hang out at the river because the river got fucking water and everything needs to drink fucking water, right? We got uh, fish that live in river, they live in water, you know? And we got iguanas and shit like that. But another kind of lizard that hangs around here is something called the basilisk. And that's what I got right here. The basilisk I found was the brown basilisk. There's another species out of the silver called the green basilisk. But that motherfucker is too hard to catch. And this is a juvenile female basilisk. Now, the crazy thing about these lizards is that if you can see right here, they got these flattened scales on their hind feet. And when they run pretty fast, they pick up that speed and they grab the water and they can actually run on the fucking water, son. That's fucking crazy, cuz. I don't know anything else that can do that. That's crazy. Costa Rica, tropics, hood in the woods, baby. Hiking through that humid ass rainforest had me dying. That shit was still hot even at night. Didn't change at all. But what changed was the animals that came out when it got dark. I got to see leaf cutter ants, which cut pieces of leaves to grow fungus for food. I also got to see an ant eater, which locals like to call the Tamandua. And right after that ant eater climbed into the trees, I got to see a motherfucking rainforest celebrity. All right, what we got right here? is the red-eyed tree frog. This is the poster child of the motherfucking rainforest. 
Every time you see something on TV or something in a magazine that talk about the rainforest, 99% of the time, you're gonna see this motherfucking animal right here. Usually red-eyed tree frogs are active only during the day. It was night time, so we had to wake this motherfucker up. And here we are in Costa Rica, La Selva, in person, with the poster child of the rainforest, the red-eyed tree frog. 